Hi, everyone. The book that I have for you today is called Lala's Words, written and illustrated by Gracie Zhang. Hot, hot, hot. The sidewalk steamed and the sun hung heavy in the sky. Everyone was still. Lala was not. Lala jumped and ran, tripped and fell. Lala was sweaty and her clothes were always torn. Lala, stay still, her mother said. What child is as rough as you? Lala didn't know, but she did know she liked to go outside. Past Mr. Piatek with his radio, around the corner, down the block. Over the fence, in a patch of dirt and concrete, grew short green weeds and leaves. A place of Lala's own. Hello, hello, friends, Lala whispered. Every morning, Lala ran to her garden. Through the heat, she carried a pot of water, but it was her kind words that made the plants sway and nod. You are stripy and lovely, said Lala. Stop playing with weeds and leaves. You're covered in dirt, cried her mother. Grow strong and tall, my friends, said Lala. Be still and quiet, said her mother. You are so very special, sighed Lala. On the hottest day of summer, Lala's mother had enough. No more, Lala. No more jibber-jabber in dirt and grass. Today, you are staying home. Lala cried and cried. Who would visit her little friends? So Lala stayed inside, out from the melting heat. From the window, she counted buses wheezing past, listened to Mr. Piatek hum with his radio, and waved politely when Rosie passed by with their groceries. Throughout the day, she whispered softly, Hello, hello, friends. At night, the moon rose like a bright eye. Out her window, Lala whispered to her plants, Good night, my friends. I love you very much. The next morning, the sun didn't burn so strong. It was cool, 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 and breezy under a great big shade. Hector was the first to see. When he looked out his window, he whistled long and hard. Well, look at that. Lala's friends had grown strong and tall. So strong and tall, they covered Lala and her neighbors like a fountain under the sun. They had been listening every day that summer. So deeply they listened to Lala's words, they had come to find her through the warm night air. Magnificent, my magnificent friends, cried Lala. Lala ran down the stairs. Her mother was staring out the door. Oh, Lala. You are so very special. Her mother held her close and tight, and Lala felt warm inside. I love you, my amazing girl. Go out and play. And Lala did. To the Lala in all of us, Gracie Zhang.
Thank you for listening.